All right, welcome. This is M Dog, and we are trying out the just released game called Mordau. I don't know if I'm saying that right. M O R D H A U. This is a uh, Slovenian independent studio that's developed this game. Triternian, I think, is their name. Uh, but it has just come out on April 29th, and this is going to be a uh, melee combat multiplayer focused game. Much like something like Chivalry, if you've played that. Uh, there's lots of other ones out there as well. I, I only thing I've played is the... Um, oh, people are already fighting. Oh, this okay, the match hadn't started yet. Only thing I've played so far is the tutorial. So this will actually be my first time doing anything other than the tutorial. And this is actually a Battle Royale mode. So hopefully we'll at least get to see what it looks like out there before I die a quick and painful death. All right, there's 48 survivors left. I'm assuming there is no map. Oh, we can move now. Okay. So, just like any Battle Royale mode, I think we um, want to get some stuff going here. I don't know. Oh, I don't know if I can pick that up. Looks like that was a bandage. Let's check inventory real quick. Oh, I don't know how. Don't know how to check inventory. And maybe you can't. There's got to be a way to look at your inventory, right? Okay. Well, dude already found the shield and we're in... Cha oh, B changes loadout. And then something about team with M. Okay, so he's... All right, let's re -queue. Let's try this one more time. So we're queuing up worldwide because when I did just like the region I live in, it, I, I, you know, it was searching and searching and didn't find anything. So it looks like B somehow does. The big disadvantage I have right now, honestly, is I don't, I, I don't really know how to do combat very well. It's this is just like chivalry and like I said, a lot of those other games, um, you know, based on where you are moving the mouse. Is sort of what type of strike you are, and you can also parry or try to block with your right mouse button. Um, I always find these types of games, control-wise, very awkward, and that may just be me, but uh, they're not my favorite controlling games, and, and they all sort of feel very similar. I think this one feels as good as any I've played, but I don't love the way any of them work. I guess it's just sort of that first-person melee it always feels a little awkward to me, but um, this, I, I wouldn't say that this Battle Royale mode is the main game mode for this game. If you've watched any of the coverage leading up to the game's release today, the Frontline game mode, which I haven't tried that yet. I've seen it a bunch, but I haven't tried it yet. That seems to me more of the main game mode, and that's basically like where there's different... Um, different places you have to take, different objectives on the battlefield, more like a standard multiplayer game. Yeah, this is gonna be, this is gonna be uh, chaotic. Uh, if so many people start close to each other, are there really only, only that many people alive? Oh my goodness, a broken arming sword. Oh, and we're getting the... Let's swap these out. We're getting the uh, high ping notice. Oh my goodness, I think we... I think we got him there. There's 12 left. Did somebody shoot me? Alright, B is not doing anything, by the way. I feel like... I don't know what that noise is. Oh, that's just people... When something happens... What is this he had? A short spear? light leggings so i guess when you pick up the leggings it go it automatically gets put on you all right let's go see if we can find someone else here i don't know if yeah uh, also let's see what is kick in this game yeah f is kick so there's pretty intricate uh combat system i, I certainly do not understand it yet um i feel very fortunate that we actually got a kill um there's 11 survivors left Hopefully you can hear like footsteps and stuff pretty well. 
I don't, I don't know yet. That, that noise is annoying. So when someone dies, I think that's what the noise is. And hopefully in settings, there's a way to decrease how loud that is. Because that's actually pretty um, upsetting to my internal system. <laughs> it makes me a little triggered, to be completely honest with you. Um, all right, that was some, what, some medicine? Not that I would know how to use it. How do you use medicine? I don't, don't even know. Lots of things I don't know yet, but I just wanted to let, give you a chance to see what just what the game even looked like. Um, and so far, I think it looks really cool. What what I'm most excited about this game is the progression system, and just getting into the some of the strategic battles that are possible. Oh, it is going to let us mount up here. Uh, it does have a whoa third person mode, although I'm not sure if you can do that when you're on horseback. Wait, is that somebody over there? Did I just see somebody? Okay. And you do have javelins or, um, you know, things that you would more traditionally use on horseback in the Middle Ages. Uh, yep, here we go. Okay, we did 19 damage. Oh, I'm not sure if we can swim. Uh, I don't think we can swim. Well, we placed fourth. We placed fourth. All right, so let's go. Oh man, yes, we got 90 gold for that for placing fourth. We got a little XP. And actually, you know, now that I think about it, here we can spectate the rest of this match. Maybe. Oh wow. Okay. When you spectate, you actually just are in control of the camera. Or can you? I don't know that you can actually spectate someone. You're just kind of in control of it. Yeah. Here we go. Um, so one thing we'll look at really quickly before. I end this short uh, video is, and I'll try to do several videos of just kind of showing different parts of the game and hopefully showing that I will eventually learn how to play, but um, I'm not sure that first kill, we actually got the kill. He might have died just with fall damage. It felt like I hit him, but I'm not so sure. I also don't like that I'm getting that high ping notice. I think I'm probably hooking up to a European server or something just because of the queue time on US servers as, like I said, the game has just come out. Not that many people have it loaded up yet, but... Oh, that's a nice fight there. So, are there two left now? Is that right? Oh, no, that's it. Yeah, that's it. It's over. All right, so how do we leave? There it is. Okay, so if you play through the tutorial, you get 2,500 gold, and that kind of is enough to get you started, I suppose. And then in Armory, I have found out that you can create your own character that you play, play with. Of course, this would be more of the other game mode. The only thing I haven't figured out yet, and I will try to work... I don't, I don't remember these, this two and this three being here last time. I haven't figured out how to unlock weapons. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, it's letting me do it now. Is it letting me purchase anything? Yes, it is. Okay, so this is this is cool though. You can choose your perks. You have so many points you can spend, right? Choose different armor, and of course, as you, um, as you level up you're gonna have access to to more and more types of armor right oh we could use chainmail even now okay so i'm still discovering things that i didn't even realize and then you can change the color of it like i was kind of going with uh, a darker a darker look and everything oh and that's heavy armor i don't think we want heavy but we could certainly do medium for now I don't even see what, what that's changing. And where's the two on this? All right. And then there's also other stuff. I mean, so again, all this is cosmetic. The only, the only things that matter armor wise was the head, torso and legs. And then you can choose an emblem, which we've got that weird looking thing there. Um, so we'll put a emblem on there, change the metal tint so that anywhere there's metal, it'll, kind of change the, the tint of it, which I think is pretty cool. How rough the metal looks. 
So a lot of customization options, um, and then and, and and then normal customization, changing your face and hair and uh, your body, some some elements that you can change on your body as well. And then what I've got to look at is what gear do I want to unlock, like what I want to change with. So I've got four points left. So it must have been okay. So if I do lighter armor, I've got higher movement speed and I've got more points to spend. So with four points, we could basically get like a, you know, like a bastard sword. Oh, it doesn't, okay, it looks like this requires you to be level three. So I guess we could unlock mace. Some of this requires you to level two. So a lot of options, medic bag. Throwing knife. Could just use an axe. Axe has got a little bit more speed, but it doesn't reach as far, of course. We could get two weapons. Spend those two points. So anyway, you can actually fill out your loadout, and then when you go to front line, you can choose that character that you sort of creative, or you can use if you looked in the armory, there's these generic characters. I, I think you can choose from these or the unique ones that you've actually that you got, you've actually created yourself. Why is this guy level two? Oh no, that's his placement. I got you. You're just moving it up on the list. Okay. So anyway. Let's cut it off now, because again, I'll, I'll try to do several videos as we discover more about the game. Just wanted to give you a, a first look at Battle Royale and uh, kind of how it worked in this game. So anyway, hope you've liked the video, and uh, we'll be trying to get some more up pretty quick in the next couple days. Thanks for watching, as always.